忍びは俺を殺そうとした。戦争だから国と国の戦いだ。だから知らぬ者同士で互いに意味が殺す。いい愛たち。この光景を忘れ。ホプルに焼き付けて愛情を合う。これは戦争である。どれを失くためにあな
which translates to God of the Moon, and Itachi's mother name is Mikoto Uchiha. That's not an accident. Mikoto is also God, however, that's another video for another day. Now, Tsukuyomi is a visual yet powerful genjutsu in the left eye of Itachi. It allows him to trap you in the world of genjutsu where he's basically God. It's the second strongest visual genjutsu wielded by anyone, only second to Koro Matsukami, which is wielded by Shisui, Itachi's best friend. Whereas with Tsukuyomi, you understand you're in a genjutsu, Koro Matsukami, you're completely unaware. If anyone wants to deny that Tsukuyomi is inferior to Koro Matsukami, just remind them that it was Koro Matsukami that broke control from Edo Tensei over Itachi, and Itachi literally stated out of his mouth that Kodo Matsukami is the ultimate visual manga kill Sharingan in Genjutsu. Time, feelings of pain, and everything else in between, and the nightmare realm of Tsukuyomi is controlled by Itachi. If he wants to kill you, he'll kill you. Not only that, but it's also happened in a couple milliseconds. I'm pretty sure it's less than mill mill milliseconds, but I, I don't have time going into that math. Just know, in, in less than a second. If somebody can kill you in less than a second, Itachi tortured Kakashi for 72 hours in the Genjutsu, but in real time, it was less than a second. Asuma even stated that Kakashi was literally standing one second and on the ground the next. This isn't an exaggeration. In real time, only a second passed, and in the world of Tsukuyomi, it was three days in which Kakashi was being tortured by it. He didn't do any damage physically. He damn sure did some mentally. He mentally broke him. The name of Tsukuyomi is also known as the Nightmare Realm, the Spirit Breaker, the, the Mind Breaker. It's meant to mentally and spiritually break you. When um, Itachi killed his girlfriend, Izumi, he didn't physically hurt her. He trapped her in Tsukuyomi, and in less than a second, they lived out their entire life together, had kids, and died of old age surrounded by family. He essentially overloaded her brain and broke her mind, which lets her the rest of her body breaking down and dying on the spot. If your mind dies, your body will pretty much follow suit. We're not cold-blooded, and even if you're in great health, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Tsukuyomi is meant to represent the darkness in the world and all the darkness within it. It's also the first manga kill Sharingan mentioned and shown, and was mentioned so early that when it was first shown, there was no such thing as a manga kill Sharingan pattern. It was just Moe Sharingan. Now, Amaterasu. Amaterasu is a Japanese and Shinto religion. It's the goddess of the sun. It's also the most beloved and important to Izanami and Izanagi, and was married to Tsukuyomi, the god of the moon. Which sounds pretty fucking cool until you realize that they were brother and sister. Yeah, I needed to just mentally reset after hearing that shit. Now, she's the sister of Ibisu, Kagetsuchi, Susano, Oyamatsuri, Raijin, Fujin, and they, she is the daughter of Izanami and Izanagi. A lot of names you just heard you're probably familiar with. Go figure. Are you starting to like realize why the Uchiha were pretty much only rivaled by the Senju? Yeah, they're named and their powers are pretty much based on the actual Shinto god themselves. There's a reason they get special treatment and are the most beloved in the show. Amaterasu is the, the pinnacle of fire style jutsu, whereas Itachi can emit black flames from a focal point where he focuses his eye, but where it separates itself from just being a normal fire style jutsu is the fire, the black flames never burn out they never leave until it completely incinerates and turns whatever target they are targeting into dust never ending black flames the only way you can put it out is by literally sealing it like jiraiya did or absorbing it something literally 99.99999 percent of people just can't do most people just can't fucking absorb jutsu because they want to no unless you have the renegon or you are a little god you're not getting your, your it's ggs if you get touched by this these black flames amaterasu is meant to represent the sun the light the good in the world and the bonds a ninja can develop with others the goodness in the world overall is what amaterasu is meant to represent amaterasu also is emitted from itachi's right eye so he has sukuyomi in the left and amaterasu in the right eye The good, the good stuff, the um, absolute busted things where um, let's just say things get a little out of hand because um, the absolute busted things are because if you can manage to not get caught in his Tsukuyomi, that's great. You know, you, you close your eyes, that's great. You know, you see, you feel the black flames. Let's say you have sage mode. You feel the black flames coming towards you. You you avoid the eternal burning black flames named Amaras. Um, 
good luck surviving this thing that he's probably gonna fucking pull out next um what's that you're afraid of a giant ethereal fucking beings with ancient spirit weapons and shields that's too fucking bad because this dude has a susano and not only does he just have a susano this motherfucker has the susano like the first the susano like with the capital t the susano like the original susano like fuck madara you know what i'm saying like you know he's he has a stronger susano or he has a perfect susano but fuck that you know what i'm saying like i have evidence that i'm gonna like bring forth in which i believe um susano was only supposed to be exclusive to itachi okay and not only that it was he's pretty fucking unbeatable when he has this shit okay now i want you to wait till you hear this shit right now of course susano is the god of storms and god does this fucking thing live up to the fucking hype like jesus susano again in case you haven't caught onto this ongoing trend is another shinto god and again is one of the many children of izanami and izanagi um, you see, Susano in ancient folklore wielded the Totsuka Blade, a celestial variant of the Kusanagi Blade. Um, sound familiar? Yeah, it, I said variant because Sasuke wields the physical and much less powerful variant of the Kusanagi Blade. And yes, I said variant because Sasuke wields the physical and much less powerful variant of the Kusanagi Blade, unlike Itachi. You soon to begin to understand just how connected and, and intertwined Sasuke and Itachi's abilities and weapons are alike and how connected they are. Sasuke and so I'll explain it. Sasuke and Itachi, weapon of choice, both wield a variant of the Kusanagi blade. Um, Sasuke wields the physical version, uh, which pretty much cuts through any physical object. Um, it cut through Yamato's uh, wood jutsu. It um, cut through pretty much anything, any chakra nature. Um, but Itachi wields it at the spiritual level with his Susano. Um, the Susano. F so in in the lore, Susano fought and had slain the eight-headed serpent Orochi. Just like in the show, Itachi summons his serpent and slays Orochi Maru, who of course summons his eight-headed serpent Jutsu. Um, Itachi eventually uses the blade to seal Orochi Maru. Now, the thing that makes the Totsu Blade special is it's embedded within the Sealing Jutsu, also known as the Sekigari Blade. Um, I strongly re recommend people who love anime to learn to speak Japanese because you gain a greater understanding of the words and the context of weapons and stuff like that. Now, in Japanese, Osake, Osake means alcohol, and when people are consumed by alcohol or are drunk, you know, dizzy and such. Now, when you're pierced by the Totsuka Blade, Tachi can seal you in the gourd connected to the Totsuka Blade, and it traps you in a world where you're in a Genjutsu and you're pretty much drunk forever. Hence the name Saki Gari Blade. Now, I can breathe easy, you know. Oh, wait. We're not fucking done with this weapon. Yes, I said weapons and shields, remember? Because Itachi. Susano has the fucking Yadamir. Now, in real life, the Yada Mirror is a sacred bronze mirror part of the Imperial Regalia of Japan. Now, in Naruto, it's called the Yada Mirror for a reason. Because one, it mirrors any chakra nature of any physical attack that's thrown at it. It matches it and pretty much nullifies it. Paired with the, to paired with the Totsuka Blade, Itachi is pretty much a fucking demigod. He's unstoppable. This dude, it's like when it's paired with the Totsuka Blade, he can't be stopped. Like. It's like an Elden Ring when you match up, max out magic, defense, and attack, but you don't touch the fucking stamina at all, and you have like two or three good dodges before you have to stall and wait for your fucking stamina bar to refill while you summon help. That's pretty much Itachi. He has max defense, max attack, max magic, but no fucking stamina. <laughs> and it seems like based on the data books um, that the Susano, Totsuka Blade, and Yadamira was either a exclusive to itachi or b the base power of anyone who masters the mangekyo sharingan are awarded the yadamir and totsuka blade it's strongly implied in the data books as you can see here especially it's, it's, it's strongly um implied that especially since nobody else that wields a susano has legendary spirit weapons it also says that the only ones that have mastered both Sukuyomi and Amaterasu are granted the Susano. So it's kind of weird because it's pretty clear, at least to me, that 
um, Itachi and Sasuke were the only ones that were supposed to have a manga kill Sharingan, or Itachi was the only one that was supposed to have a Susano based on how it worded, how it's worded and what it says. So I'm like 95% sure that A, the Susano was pretty much exclusive to Itachi along with the Yadamir and Totsuka Blade, or B, anyone who unlocks the um, manga kill Sharingan um, are awarded the powers of Sukuyomi or at least a Madarasu. Um, it's strongly implied that based on how the data book words it, but I'm like, again, pretty sure that the, the that those powers were almost exclusively for um, Itachi and they just pretty much gave it to anybody else who had a manga kill Sharingan. So, um, oh, another thing is um, the Totsuka Blade. Odorochimaru had been looking for those. Now, I'm not, I want to do a video on how are your Susana weapons determined because if Orochimaru is looking for them, Sasuke got that version um, of the Kusanagi Blade for Orochimaru and we know he loves to collect things and stuff like that he wants to know all jutsu so Sasuke got that variant of the Kusanagi blade from Orochimaru he didn't need the physical version he wanted the spiritual version of the Totsuka blade or the Kusanagi blade um I'm we're, it's not really sure how um Itachi like got those weapons I feel like he just was destined to have those weapons but it's also highly possible he found them because this dude is with the Akatsuki for about seven years. Seven years is a long time. That's a lot of traveling the world with Kisame. It's a lot of traveling the world with Juzo. So a lot of traveling with the Akatsuki in general. So it's very highly possible that he stumbled upon them. But the fact that it's with his Susano, I don't. I think he was just granted those weapons and he just pretty much kept them hidden. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for the video. Sasuke, is, of course, his powers and stuff are going to be next to how his um, powers and Susano and everything is connected to Itachi. He's going to go into greater detail. But that's pretty much all I have for this video. Um, it's a little bit um, overdue in terms of the date. I was supposed to release this yesterday, but I got a little backed up. So I apologize for that, but I'm going to try to get back on track. We have the video on Sasuke and the video on Indra. Um, leave any other videos that you want to see in the comments in the comment section, and I will see you in the next video.